Why a 1 inch 1 comma 000 year rain event devastated Delicott City, Maryland again? Blame it on the rain. And the topography. But global warming? Maybe not so much. Residents and business owners in historic Ellicott City were picking up their pieces Monday after the second 1 inch 1 comma 000 year rain event in two years walloped the Maryland town on the banks of the Patapsco River. More than 8 inches Sunday triggered flash flooding that sent a wall of water down Main Street, reaching the second floor of some buildings and sweeping cars into culverts. Two years ago, 6.5 inches of rain fell on Ellicott City in about three hours, with 5.5 inches falling in just 90 minutes, the National Weather Service said. That was dubbed a 1 inch 1 comma 000 year rain event. AccuWeather meteorologist Brian Lotta stood by the statistics. The odds reflect the chance of the heavy rains, not necessarily flooding, he added. It's a really rare event that just so happened to occur two years apart, Lada told USA Today. That 1 inch minus 1000 doesn't take into account the topography of the area. The town was defenseless for Sunday's precipitation onslaught, he said. Four creeks converge on the town en route to the Patapsco. There was no place for the water to go. The worst flooding was Main Street, which is all concrete, so it flowed right through. Lada said. There were heavy, drenching thunderstorms training over the area with several inches of rain per hour. An incredible rate. Lada said the storms were fed by extensive moisture in the air being experienced around the region. Many areas were blasted by storms, but Telecot City just happened to be hit over and over again. The river level spiked almost 18 feet in two hours, reaching an all-time record high, he said. They got several inches of rain per hour, he said. The area only averages about four inches of rain for all of May. Ellicott City got two months of rain in two hours. Lada was unwilling to link the vicious storms, two years apart, to global warming. It's such a localized, small-scale event that the big climate debate wouldn't really have an impact, he said. This was about training thunderstorms.